Hi Virgo, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your weekly tarot check. This is for the week of February 14th through February 21st of 2021 for all Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are new to the channel, I post new readings every Friday and then again on Monday or Tuesday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can check back in a couple of days. We'll let that one fall out. You could check another part of your chart. You could even watch an older reading. Um, tarot is sacred divination. The readings are timeless. Spirit does not use a human calendar like we do. So you could watch any reading really. But I want to thank everyone who has subscribed. I really appreciate you and everything you do for the channel. And every day I think of you and send love. So thanks for doing that. And if you haven't subscribed, I'd love to invite you to join us so that you'll know when any announcements are made and um, any new uh, videos are up to, any new readings. So let's begin here. Let's get the messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Virgo need to know, please? All right. Whoa. All right. So we will begin with the tarot, then we'll use the angel answers oracle card here. We'll get into that in a minute, why that might be here. You got the Empress, the Queen of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the Sun. You've got the World, the Queen of Cups, I like to see those two together, the Two of Wands, and the Page of Swords. Well, I feel like this is a really strong reading. I think if you're coming out of this, there's a change here, okay? If you've been sad about something, disappointed, there was some expectation that wasn't met, you know, it's there's grief here. Um, you're definitely on such a better path here energetically. So for some of you, it may be just about turning around and seeing those two cups that are upright or watching and looking for that bridge that takes you home. I definitely feel like there's a new lease on life here when you start to get like the sun, when you get this kind of energy together. I mean, it's really a phenomenal reading. You're moving forward. I mean, it really is nirvana, that new lease on life. It's a wonderful energy field. So with, um, I guess we'll do this. Um, with the Empress here, it's, it's you being creative and being in a field of love and compassion, but there's many new opportunities around you. You do have here, before we get into this too far, you've got water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, you've got earth and the Empress, and also in the three of pentacles, you have fire, uh, you have all the elements plus Leo and the sun. So the Empress brings in uh, the ability or facility to, you know, have like a lot of new ideas coming in, but also to put those to action. She is too ruled by Venus and love. So for some of you, you definitely have a new love relationship here. Or if there was something that was disappointing in a relationship, it's like a rebirth coming in. It's a wonderful energy. So the Empress gives you this hope. I feel like it's like springtime coming. And it, that may even be the timeline for some of you within the next few weeks here, coming into spring, um, into March, April kind of season. And really feeling like you have a lot to look forward to. So um, with the Queen of Wands, it's a, it's a relationship that has a lot of passion to it. And a physical, very physically charged kind of a relationship of a real like sexual chemistry, energy, physical attraction here. Um, but this is also a card of taking action too. So those of you that this is about work and money more than the relationship piece, it really is about having those ideas that the Empress allows and then organizing them and presenting them and taking action. It really is you inspiring people around you. So I don't know if somebody here has lost some weight in this new year, you know, you've had about what, six weeks here. And it, and it may be too that you're inspiring other people. Maybe you joined like a group fitness thing and they've been on a program and people are noticing it and definitely wanting to know what you've been doing. Like I even hear somebody saying, what have you been doing? Like they are really intrigued by this. Um, but you've got nice, you know, aspects in terms of loyalty, companionship and good people around you here too. So the Three of Pentacles is a card of, working together, collaboration, harmony, building, and you're building a future here with someone for sure. 
I also feel like the work is solid too. Like you have good ideas and the ability to present them in a way that they become things. It's not just an idea like, oh, that was a, that was a good idea, but let's go in this direction. Um, for some too, if you, I don't know if somebody's got an Etsy shop, I see that for someone, but it's almost like building your own empire. If you're working for someone else, doing other things outside of that that are building up your own worth in terms of finance. So um, definitely a stable energy, but with new opportunities that turn into more. So the sun, everyone loves to see. It is a totally unconditional, you know, relationship with life in the way that it becomes easy. Life is easier, free. You are not harnessed by the ego in this energy. It's a card of self-acceptance and you know we'll talk about the world too but it's one of these cards that features an unclothed character i also feel like which is all about self-acceptance and mastery but i also feel like with this because it's such a card of goal attainment and victory there's something strong about somebody with that physical body really getting into gains and feeling good physically um, but it is a card of very high vibration and success so you know, it's feeling like you're really on the right path and um, in this receiving mode, you're in the receptive mode with this one. So, <clears throat> you know, the, the world comes in and it truly is that card of self-mastery. It's nirvana. It's reaching that place where you know everything is going in the right direction. She's the dancer of the tarot. She dances in that wreath of victory much like the baby or that androgynous child on the card of the sun waves that banner of victory. It's either way, it's like feeling like you almost could run through the streets with a banner saying, we've done it, I've done it, I get it now. Um, and it's it's also to, too with her, she is the card of the traveler, the world traveler. So it can be about going out and seeing the world. And even for some of you, like I said, creating some kind of business online that reaches an international uh, level where you have customers from all over the place. So that's you and you've got some kind of idea. It's time to move forward with it, especially if you have something to sell, like you have inventory available and you just haven't done anything with it. Um, but with the world, it's everything coming together. And it's it truly is a relationship that you feel like you haven't had before. So if you're in something and looking for that recharge, here you go. But if it's, again, new love, it is like the first time you've ever really loved and feeling like now I understand what this really is all about. Um, it's it's really a beautiful energy all around. But the Queen of Cups, again, more love. But she also has a very um, sharpened intuitive instinct, okay? So it's really about using your intuition. And so when you get those intuitive hits, not second guessing them, but moving forward and allowing them to develop, because sometimes we kind of quiet that down, the ego will shush the intuitive side of us. And really that's your very best teacher coming through. So for some of you, in terms of your family too, I see lots of nice aspects there. The Queen of Cups is a mother and has a is a very loving mother. So it could either be, especially with the Empress here being a mother, for some of you, if you're looking to have a family, there's definitely wonderful aspects here for fertility, for having children, for moving forward in a long-term commitment. And if it's a, you know, the Five of Cups is about sadness from the grief of losing a child, there's, a, there's children here, okay? And there's motherhood and parenthood here. So if you're a man listening to this, <clears throat> it doesn't necessarily need to be motherhood, even though that's the character, but... Um, with the two of wands, you're, you're in a mode of success, taking a look at the, the landscape, taking inventory, looking out and figuring out that path, you know, but in that unconditional way, so you don't choose the wrong path. You can't in the energy field that you're in. He holds the world in his hand, but he wants a bigger world. So it's seeing the uh, manifestations around you, recognizing all around you, all the things that you've created and kind of going, well, what next? But not with a, not with a delay, not with a lack consciousness. It's it's in that field of where do I go next with these ideas? What else can I manifest here? So with the Page of Swords, this is communication coming in. But again, pages are developing, so it may be more about those 
beginning levels of communication. So maybe you're at the place where you're beginning talking to your significant other about having a family, or you're in that place with a company where you're just starting to maybe watch some YouTube videos about how do I develop this business, reading some blogs, things like that, where you're collecting information. And it also too, in a, in a new relationship, could even be that beginning stage of I met somebody, we're communicating, I'm wondering where this goes. It really feels like it's something. And so it's, it's about, the he is the internet, uh, spy, we say spy, but he is primarily about internet communication. So again, it could be those texts, those emails, doing research on the internet. Um, <clears throat> spying doesn't necessarily have to have a negative connotation with that one, but really you've got a wonderful starting point here that brings in so much wonderful energy and just development overall. So let's see here with the timeline. And a yes, no, maybe. These cards are so sticky. All right, you've got helpful people. So I mentioned that before. There's definitely loyal people, but there's a harmony with this reading where everyone's also working together really well. And it's kind of a like-minded energy, um, but it's, it's nice collaboration. We talked a little bit about health. There's something here regarding somebody really getting their health in alignment, really looking good, feeling good. Um, and it's it, they're telling you again here for whoever that's for. You've got look for a sign. So they're all around you, all those synchronicities. So if you're going, no, it's not me with the physical body, but I sure wish it was. And the next thing you know, you turn this off and there's an advertisement for some kind of a six week program or something. There's your sign, you know, we have to be in that queen of cups intuitive, intuitive phase and be willing to see those things. They do say within the next few weeks here, Virgo. And you've got, now you got choose a new direction. You got nice aspects coming in, but there may be some specificity about your, um, right now you're thinking with this that is creating a little bit of a delay. So maybe go general on it. Know what you want and why you want it, but don't worry about the how is this going to happen. You know, be open to getting new resources, looking at things, doing research, because that can guide you a little bit into a direction that may work even better. So there's great things coming for you. I love you, Virgo, and I'll be back again soon.